first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so this special data interpretation video or specially made for the students those who are going for a cat level exam as well as students those who are going for a bank mains exam so in those exams you can able to see a very difficult data interpretation so in order to crack that i will be posting these kinds of difficult data interpretation videos so do not forget to watch all my videos but remember one important thing before watching this video you have to know this the same data interpretation question what i am going to teach now is available as a test so first visit my website or my mobile application there in a quantity quantitative aptitude session you can able to see at the last data interpretation bracket means so inside that the same question what i'm going to teach in this set available as a test first write the test and check what is your score whether you are getting five out of five or you can't able to understand the da itself so first write the test after writing the test come and watch this video for solution without writing a test if you watch this video completely 100% the video will be useless no use so first write the test and analyze what is the mistake that you have done where you have done the mistake and then watch this video right definitely it will be helpful for the students those who are going for cat exams and bank mains exam so let me move on to all the difficult data interpretation question on these types of videos so friends now in this video number 23 on the data interpretation mains level question so here we are going to solve a question that is based on a table chart so total number of manufactured mobile has been given and for two years they have given 2020 and 2021 so first column they have given about different mobile phones and then average number for two year and then they have given ratio between the total number of mobile phone that was manufactured by the two company and the ratio has been given normal da not that much art level so but remember one thing first from, from the first da i was repeatedly saying you one important point every time take at least one or two minutes to completely analyze the chart value right so what are all the values they have given in the chart so what is the exact concept of the da and then usually there will be some note that will be given below the chart so read that note completely and then only you have to start solving the question why because the imp the note that they have given below the chart are more and more important so just see here they have given a note the actual number of average mobile phone is five times the value mentioned in the table chart what does it mean right so the value what they have mentioned is not the exact value that is not the actual value the actual value is five times the value what they have given in the chart so which means for example let you take uh, let me take the mobile brand oppo so when you take an oppo mobile phone the average number of mobile phone that was manufactured in the year 2020 and 2021 is 240 but that is not the exact number 240 into 5 that is the actual number so now what we found is average 2020 and 2021 for two year average so the what you can consider it as x and y right for just explaining i'm doing this so for two year average has been given which is 240 but this 240 is not the exact number the actual number is multiplied five times that is the exact number so let me multiply this so zero to 1200 so 1200 is the average mobile phone manufacture on the oppo company that is on the year 2020 and 2021 so multiply this by two so two year x plus y i've taken 2020 as x 2021 as y so for the two year the total mobile phone that was manufactured in a company oppo that is 2400 so friends understood so now out of this 2400 so they have given a ratio what is the ratio value they have given is 8 is to 7 so 8 on 2020 7 on 2021 so what we can do is 8 divided by total right so which is 15 so into 2400 so once you cross multiply and find the answer we can find what is the total mobile phone manufactured by oppo company in the year of 2020 so 2020 we can cancel it on three table so if you cancel it on three table five threes are 15 so cancel it on three table eight threes are 24 so again we can cancel it on five table one fives are five so remaining will be three thirty six fives are thirty one sixty so zero eight six are 
ओके फोर्टी एट वन टू एट जीरो सो नाउ व्हाट वी गॉट इस इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी द टोटल मोबाइल फोन दैट वाज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड बाय ओपो विल बी वन टू एट जीरो एंड वी नो द टोटल राइट एंड वी नो द टोटल व्हाट टू फोर जीरो जीरो सो वंस यू सब्रैक दिस टू वैल्यू रिजल्टेंट विल बी वन वन टू जीरो सो वन वन टू जीरो विल बी द टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोबाइल दैट वाज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड बाय ओपो कंपनी ऑन द ईयर 2021 सो वी हैव टू सिमिलरली फाइंड फॉर ऑल द रिमेनिंग टेबल चार्ट वैल्यूज एंड देन वी हैव टू फ्रेम अ न्यू टैबलर कॉलम व्हाट वी डिड इन द प्रीवियस डीए लाइक व्हाट वी डू इन ऑल द प्रीवियस डीए बिकॉज़ initially it takes time that was i'm repeatedly saying it initially it takes more than 5 minutes to find out all the values in the chart so once you found all the values solving a question will be really easy in case if all the values are directly given in the da itself chart itself then solving five question will be very difficult so that's the thing we can repeatedly see on many data interpretation right so always the note are more important so if you solve the question without reading that note what they have given below then you you will not get the exact answer for all the five question similarly we have seen many question like this in one uh, in one year i don't know it's a bank exam it was an a different competitive exam so what they have given us they have given a pie chart so they have given all the values right so a uh, 30 40 72 36 etc some values they have given and under that they have mentioned that the numbers what are all the numbers that are multiplied by 4 right Mul multiples of 4 are in a percentage value the numbers what are all multiples of 6 are in a degree value so we have to find which number is a multiple of 4 and which number is a multiple of 6 if it is a multiple of 6 then it is degree if it is a multiple of 4 right then it is a percentage value so very interesting question if both are 6 and 4 that 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 should be considered at as percentage value so very a very important question i don't know exactly how the how the notice but anyway these kind of question they have asked in one competitive exam and in one exam Uh, the value that they have given is the difference not the exact value the actual value they didn't given the chart in the chart they have given 18 but in the note they have given that is not the exact value that is the difference value so that's the thing most important you have to read always the whatever notes important note they have given under the chart you have to read that first and then only you have to solve the question right? don't forget it so now we found all the values for oppo so some second value they have given is for vivo right so vivo where the average has been given which is 180 but that 180 is not the exact number so what we need to do is 180 into 5 so 180 into 5 will be 900 and that 900 is the average so into 2 900 into 2 will be 1800 so now we got The total number of mobile phone that was manufactured by the company Vivo will be thousand eight hundred. So out of that thousand eight hundred, we have to find seven is to eight is the ratio. So thousand eight hundred and seven is the total number of uh, mobile phone that was manufactured in the year two thousand twenty. So seven divided by fifteen into thousand eight hundred. So seven divided by fifteen into thousand eight hundred will be eight forty. So 840 will be the total number of mobile phone manufactured in the year 2020 and 21. So we have to subtract it. 1800 minus 840 resultant will be 960. So 960 will be the total mobile phone manufactured by the Vivo company in the year 2021. So friends, got it right? So now we have to frame a table chart like this, and we need to find for all the remaining like Samsung, OnePlus, Moto, and for all the remaining mobile phones. and then after framing a table chart we have to solve the question so i think solving uh, all the five question based upon this da is not that much difficult so let's see what are all the uh, char questions they have given under this so i hope you have taken a test you should get definitely 5 out of 5 right even if you are getting 4 that is not good why because this is not that much difficult level question so first question is Uh, 2020, 2021 is what percentage more or less? So if it is what percentage more or less, use a formula x minus y divided by y into 100. And many students usually make a mistake. I have posted a separate video of it. Do not forget that y into 100. So you have to understand which value we need to substitute for x and which value we need to substitute for y. That is most important. Always check whether which value we need to compare with which value. the comparison value right which value from which value we are going to compare so from that which value should comes in the denominator that is the value of y so never forget this 
right this is the value that we are going to compare with the next one so that comparison value should comes in the denominator don't forget that alone because if you put any value wrongly here then the complete answer will be wrong so that's the reason i'm saying right so first question i think we are getting the answer in negative 44 percentage negative 44 which will be 44 percentage less so next question is the sum of the mobile phone manufactured by oneplus and moto brand is how much again more or less it's not about a percentage value it's about only how much more or less just we need to add all the mobile phones oppo and then uh, uh, moto and then we have to find the difference simple question find the average of difference between the number of mobile phone manufactured in the year 2020 2021 <coughs> we found the value right so we found that this is 2020 and this is 2021 and similarly for the next uh, vivo mobile we have found that that is 849.60 so what we need to do is we need to add all these 2020 value and then we need to add all these 2021 value so after finding the total we have to check the difference so very simple question and we we need to find the average right so average is nothing but divided by 5 that's it it's very simple so find the ratio between number of mobile phones mobile and vivo 2021 so just we need to find an ratio right so finding a ratio everyone knows that we need to find the total and we need to find the ratio so i think so this is not that much uh, difficult data interpretation a normal da but anyway try to solve this question within 10 minutes your target to solve this question within 10 minutes that should be your target right don't forget it because in 10 minutes if you solve this DA, it's very good. So don't take more than 10 minutes, right? So even in the test also, I think I have given 10 or 15 minutes, not 20 minutes. If it is a difficult DA, I have given 20 minutes. If it is a normal DA, 10 minutes, easy. Five minutes only I have given, right? Okay. So friends, uh, thank you so much for watching this video, right? So I'm repeatedly saying this again and again. I'm sorry because just by watching the video, uh, you can't get that practice that right? time management will not come as well as you don't know where you are making a mistake because you are watching a video you can understand what what i'm saying what is the concept of it but only when you are writing a test you can understand that where you are making a mistake at which point you are struggling to solve so that comes only when you practice so that's the reason i'm repeatedly saying it first write the test the same da same question same value i've given as a test first write the test understand where you are making a mistake and then come and watch the video only then you will get all the uh, time management and where you are making a mistake so everything can be understand only if you write the test first so friends thank you so much for watching this video and uh, see you on the next video so if you have a time and if you have friends if you are like uh, your friends are nearby your home then, then have a group study group study will always help you to crack the exam even uh, in less number of time and without any effort you can easily crack the exam if you go with some group studies right so thank you so much friends watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much bye